Hi, my name is Kim Strickland, and I wanted to take a few minutes to talk with you about how to package your N95 for sterilization. We are going to take a few minutes. We're going to go through all of the different steps, and Miss Haley, I'm going to teach her, and then she's going to demonstrate it back for you, okay? So, let's think about this a second. The N95 um, jib that we're going to use, it actually has a zero step. So, the zero step is one that you'll complete before um, you start taking off your mask or preparing it for sterilization. And on the the blue or excuse me green 3m mask we're asking everybody when they get a new mask to put the date of first use on the bottom right hand corner and on the halyard mask we're asking that you put it on the top right hand corner so you would put that on when you get your new mask for the day put your date and write that on there so that's your zero step all right so now it's time to doff the mask so the first thing we're going to do is don gloves Key point number two is to remove the mask in a controlled manner. Key point number three, perform visual inspection. Important step number two, place the mask into the Tyvek pouch. Key point, the outside of the mask has to be showing through the clear plastic. So with the 3M mask, that means your green has to be showing out. If you had a duckbill mask, the peach side is out. Number three, place the sterility indicator into the pouch. And a key point here is the blue side has to be up. Important step number four, seal the pouch. So to seal the pouch, here's your key points. Key point number one, Peel the backing away. This is sticky. Key point number two, smooth the pouch flat. Key point number three, fold along the dotted line and press to seal firmly. And then key point number four, visually inspect for bubbles or wrinkles in the seal. Important step number five, label your mask. Um, important key point there, make it legible. Number six, deposit the mask in the N95 recollection bin. And important step number seven, doff your gloves and perform hand hygiene. All right, so first we're gonna doff the mask. And so key point number one, don your gloves, and that's to keep you safe. Remove your mask in a safe and controlled manner. And again, that helps to keep you safe. Key point number three, perform a visual inspection because soiled or damaged uh, masks have to be discarded. Important step number two, place the mask in the Tyvek pouch. Key point, the outside of the mask has to be showing through the clear plastic. And the reason why is because it has to be packaged correctly. Important step number three, place the sterility indicator in the pouch. Key point, the blue strip has to be up. And that way, uh, the reason behind that is so that everyone can see the indicator color change for sterility. And then important step number four is seal the pouch. Key point number one, remove the backing because that helps it seal, okay? Number two, smooth the pouch flat. And that ensures that you're gonna get a good seal. Um, key point number three, fold along the dotted line and press to seal firmly. And that again, ensures that you get a good seal. And then number four, um, visually inspect for bubbles or wrinkles in the seal. If you see here, we have a bubble. So we would have to work to press that down flat or we would have to get another pouch and start again. Um, important step number five, label your mask and key point there make it uh, legible and make it your full name 
And the reason behind that is that ensures that your mask gets back into your hands, okay? Number six, we're gonna deposit the N95 into the recollection bin. And step seven, doff your gloves and perform hand hygiene. And the reason is to help keep you safe. Okay. First things first, you're gonna doff your mask. In order to doff your mask, you have to don your gloves. Why are you gonna don your gloves? Because it is safe for you to do. Now I'm gonna remove my mask in a controlled manner because that keeps you safe. And your PPE spotter was gonna help you with that. <laughs> All right. Third, you're gonna perform a visual inspection because if it is soiled or damaged, it has to be discarded. So everything looks good. Second, you're gonna place it the mask in the Tyvex pouch. Outside of the mask, showing through the clear plastic, and it must be packaged correctly. Next, you're gonna place the sterility indicator in the pouch, blue strip up, so you can see the indicator change when it's confirmed to sterility. Fourth, you're gonna seal the pouch, remove the backing, smooth, remove the backing, like this. You're gonna smooth the pouch flat like this. You're gonna fold along the dotted line. You're going to visually inspect for bubbles or wrinkles in the seal. Ensure that it's a good seal. Next, you're gonna label your mask. Legibly write your full name on the seal using a Sharpie. And this ensures that your mask comes back to you in your hands. Next, you're gonna deposit in the N95 collection bin. Like this. Now you're going to doff your gloves. You're gonna perform hand hygiene because it's for your safety. Thank you for giving us some of your time uh, to go over and review the packaging in uh, 95s for sterilization. Um, it's important to us that we get it right and it's important to us that we support you and give you the tools that you need to be successful. Um, again, if we get these packaged and packaged correctly, you're the only person to touch your mask. And um, as of today, April the 15th, we have sterilized 60 masks. So woohoo, go team. Thank y'all, have a good day. I wanted to take a few minutes to talk with you about how to reprocess. Uh uh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> we should have got this first try. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to doff the mask and just. <laughs> In order to do that, I've got to put on the gloves for safety.